Leo, what is up my Leos? How are you doing today? I hope everything is going well with you and I hope you had a beautiful, awesome day. Okay, Leos, this is your November love reading, okay? For the month of November, we're going to grab some messages and energies from Holy Spirit and see what they have to say for the upcoming month regarding love. Okay, Leos, please. Keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, as you know, a leading energy, supporting energy, a theme, and we're going to dive off into the tarot, okay? Let's rock. All right. Leo's. Look, I feel the fire already. Isn't that Sagittarius kicking up? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm... I feel Sagittarius around you, Leo. So maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. That is your element um, soulmate. So I don't know if they're trying to invade the reader and whatnot, but I feel that energy too. They fiery as hell. Okay, let's roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is Leo's leading energy for the month of November regarding love? They jumpy, Leo. One more. Thank you. Storm warning. Yeah, this that fire. Oh. Okay, Leo. Now, well, you know what's coming up. You see something happening up ahead. Regarding love and decisions here. Uh-huh. You have a choice to make about this storm warning that's coming up against you, Leo. You see it coming. That's what I'm saying. You got to make a quick decision is what I'm hearing. Okay. And then we have man holding the heart. And strength. There's somebody emotionally out of control here. It's either you or your person, Leo, but somebody is emotionally out of control. Emotion emotionally is is wavy here. Okay. It's wavy. Um, very emotional. This is what I'm feeling. I like. either this is you gotta make a decision because something you see up ahead is coming, or you be forewarned. That you can't keep doing this or keep going down this path. Can't keep messing with this person. Something of the sort is throwing you in this indecision. Like, should I stay? Should I go? Should I do this? Should I not? Something of the sort, uh, uh, Leo's. All right. I almost said Divine Feminine, too. I just did that for, uh, I believe it was Gemini when I almost said Divine Feminine. So, I could be picking up on a feminine energy for my Leo's that... Have to make a decision because they see something up ahead that's coming. Okay. It's like it's like all kind of chaos and confusion and shit. Okay. Let's get a supporting energy, Holy Spirit. What is the supporting energy of the leading energy for my Leos for the upcoming month of November regarding love? One more. Thank you. Control, strength, energy. Here you go, Leo. Taking back control of yourself because you've seen that bullshit coming. Mm-hmm. Yep. You have to uh, her tame the tongue as well. But this is also too. This is like a a major decision that you have to make in order to avoid. Oops. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. That it, it it just came on out. Okay. Forgive me. But yeah, um, this is this is avoiding bullshit. Let's let's just keep this one hundred. You see, you see that bullshit coming, and you sidestepping that shit. But you got to make a decision on how you do it. Okay, look, feeling alone, isolated energy here. Okay, five of Pentacles energy here. Maybe mm, darkest fears, partnerships, and alliances. Okay, Leo's. Did, did, did somebody leave and want to come back? Deception of any dark experience. Did somebody leave and want to come back or this is you? Uh-huh. For some of you guys, this this is, yeah. This is like somebody checked out and they want to come back and you see that bullshit up ahead and this is like, man, do I want to fuck with them again or not? Yep. That's what this is. Uh-huh. You could miss this person, okay? You could also, too want to connect or reconnect is what i'm feeling but it's like you know better 
you know better and it's like you miss this person you you miss their connection you miss their presence being around but you know better mm -hmm. but it's throwing you in an up and down energy like damn do i still want to fuck with them or should i fuck with them today or something of the sort because you miss this person but you know better about this person and you like shit what's the theme of the reading holy spirit what's the theme of the reading please and thank you thank you self-reflection is the theme you see what i'm saying <clears throat> you see this bullshit coming and you're going to go inside yourself to see if you really want to continue to fuck with this person or this is somebody about you but you miss them okay you miss the connection you miss what y'all used to have you miss what you y'all used to do but it's like i don't i don't know if i want to continue to be in the energy or the presence of that person even though we had good memories of how we used to um function with each other but is it worth it uh-huh look beginnings at the bottom of the deck you damn right you damn right it could be because you done already started something new for some of you guys or you already can't overcame what it was that the, the, this this that you seen it's like you made a decision already about this person but this but it's like you missed this person okay even though you already made a decision are you going to make a decision about this person but you missed this person Okay, but you're not going to put up with the bullshit that you see coming ahead from this person. I think the fuck not. Not my Leos. Mm -mm. Hell no, y'all not doing that. Uh-uh. It's because you looked inside yourself and found yourself self-reflection. Okay, some of you guys could be um, looking back on what you have caused and done in order for this connection to be a challenge in the future. Yeah. It could be some things that you have done that made this challenge a connection in the future feeling on all partnerships and alliances yeah you miss this person you do okay for some of you for some of you uh uh, uh leos i almost said divine feminine so i could be talking to my divine feminines that's leos but for some of you you re you reflecting on what it is that you have done to cause this 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 storm warning to come okay some of you feminines are, are dealing with back, uh, back see i said feminines again so i'm definitely talking to my leo feminines here um you could be dealing with abandonment issues here not knowing if you should stay or go because you have to deal with abandonment issues you don't want to be alone you do not want to be alone but you damn sure don't want to put up the with the bullshit that you see coming okay you do not want to be alone but you are not going to put up with the bullshit you see coming period that's right holy spirit what can you tell me holy spirit what can you tell me can you kick it out holy spirit thank you i appreciate that look the world energy <laughs> that, that's a leo for you that's a leo for you they'll wrap this shit up on your ass and you wouldn't even see it coming uh-uh you close this cycle out like nah baby uh-uh you could be moving away from this energy or this person that's in this energy that you see a star warning coming this star warning with the world i think the fuck not <laughs> okay you could have thought about it for a while okay or you had to make that heart grinching decision that you had to make to close the cycle out to move forward from this person because you see the bullshit coming okay <laughs> what else can you tell me holy spirit what else can you tell me feeling alone in the partnerships and mazes yeah you're gonna miss this person but you damn sure ain't gonna be involved with this person and they bullshit they have coming mm -mm. Look, the wheel of fortune. Ooh, it was time to go. This is divine timing. This cycle was supposed to bend closed is what I heard. But you kept it open because you was indecisive about what it is that you want. But now that you know this storm is coming, you like, shit, fuck that. I'll miss you in the long run, but I'm not going through it or dealing with it. With this new beginnings, you damn right. Uh-uh. You, you, look, you sidestepping that shit real tough. You had two major arcanas coming out back to back, the world and the will of fortune. Let me tell you, this was supposed to happen, and it was a long time coming. The ending of this cycle. Okay? This could be you changing your mindsets and your feelings and your emotions about a person here because you see some bullshit up ahead. So, and you should have been did this here. But now it's like, okay, I guess I got to face it now type energy. Like, yeah, okay, now I got to come to 
the acceptance of, and I've seen acceptance of under here, yep, uh-huh, look, acceptance of the new beginnings that you are faced with because you see the bullshit coming ahead, and then we have self-love right up under it, and change, you damn right, you should have been did this, Leo, you should have been stopped fucking with this person, Leo, and you know it, and you know it, a long time coming. Now's the time. Divine timing is here. Do not miss this window of opportunity to start something new in your life because you still want to fuck with somebody from the past or somebody that you've been with for a long time or things of the sort because you see this storm warning coming. So you know that it's nothing but um, chaos that's coming in the future if you keep continuing being in this connection keep fucking with these people or this person you see it and now it's the time for you to make a decision but with this indecision it's like damn should i could i how do i do it type energy and you already know you already know what to do but you just ain't doing it okay because you don't want to be alone you're not ending the connection because you don't want to be alone period let's keep going holy spirit what else can okay Look. What do we have here? The five of swords. Mind games, bullshit, and fuckery. Okay? But that five went up to a six. Boo your hell. Honey, boom. The truth came in to drag your ass up out of that energy right there with the four of swords. You damn right. Okay. It's a lot of, you know, you're stuck in your head about a decision that you have to make. You know, indecision here. Yeah, you get a lot of mental energy here, okay? Because you know that this is mind games, bullshit, and fuckery here, okay? But what are you going to do to move, remove yourself from that with this Six of Swords here? You're being helped and guided by the Most High. The universe is working on your side in order for you to realize exactly what it is that you need to do and how to do it. More storm warning. They screaming at you. The red flags are all over your house. The red flags is all over your phone. The red flags is all over your car. The red flags is all over your family. People telling you the shit that you don't want to believe. All up in your head about what to do. Your energies is to say fuck it, but you're stuck in your thoughts. That's that indecision here, baby. I can't make it up. Six of swords, four of swords, it's the ten of swords with the five of swords. This is a lot. This is a lot. Okay? You don't, it's like, you, I'm feeling like you have a lot of faith and hope that things could change. And, it, and then you have all kind of red flags that no, baby, you need to change. This situation ain't going to change until you change. You're going to change yourself in the situation or you're going to change this situation. But something is going to change. Or you're going to go through this storm. Are you going to sit here and looking at the obstacles that is to come and just sit here and see what happens on the other side? You will lose and it will hurt. It, this cycle going to close out anyway. It is not meant to go on. Things are click clacking in the background and I'll always say this because that's how the universe work on our behalf. This stubborn energy here now. Because you don't want to make the wrong move. It's like you see it coming, but damn. You have a lot of faith and hope that this too shall pass. And, and it's like you got all kind of red flags. Like, no, it ain't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because you don't want to be alone. Let's keep going. Holy Spirit. Look, the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You could be stuck in love. Or you could have had love for this person for a very long time. Or you could be in a loveless relationship and you don't know how to move forward. You don't know what to cut off. Your mind games, bullshit, and fuckery is in the middle of your reading right here. Let's clarify the world. I'm using the same deck to clarify. That's, that's rock. Let's clarify the world, Holy Spirit. One more. Thank you. I say, nope. Okay, one more. Can you kick it out? Nope. Okay, I got it. The devil. Closing that bullshit out. Uh-huh. <sighs> Capricorn energy. There's an eyesight energy that's keeping you stuck. 
Yep. They don't want you to leave. Yep. They don't look the tower at the bottom of the deck. Um, they, they tried their hardest to keep you stuck in the situation and the tower fell because it was toxic. Okay, these are toxicities. These are addictions. This is also to being stuck to somebody that is low vibing here. This could be you and your mindsets with this indecision. Always thinking the worst and some toxic mindset and some toxic. Uh, uh, and when I say toxic, I mean on the other side of righteousness. Not the right side of righteousness, righteousness, but the other side. Oh, it's like a, a, a pessimistic energy here. Thank you, spirit. Uh, pessimistic with this feeling alone this devil this is depression here pessimistic not knowing what the fuck you need to do and you see the red set the red flags in front of you because you stuck in a cycle you dancing with the devil baby and it's time to shift that energy here but you stuck mentally stuck this devil have this devil energy has a hold on you but I'm going to tell you something. That hole, it will be relieved by um, January or by Capricorn season. With this tower energy, it ain't nothing you can do. So if you're trying to hold on to this shit that you're indecisive about, it's going to be removed anyway. And yes, you might feel lonely. Yes, you might be up in your head. But you ain't got this shit you got to deal with anymore. The tower energy is the most high God doing for you what you can't do for yourself because it was built on a faulty foundation. And it's making me feel like it's been here for a while because it's a long time coming, they keep saying. Round and round and round and round with this bullshit storm warning. You see the signs. And you stuck in this cycle because the devil got a hold on you. It could be through emotions. It could be through actions. It could be through codependency. This is a codependent energy. This is why that indecision is here. This is a codependent person. You could be codependent on your person or your person is codependent on you. Here's the reason why your ass is stuck and indecisive of how to do what you need to do to move forward. And you know and you see those red flags that is warning you. Star warning coming. You see it. You know it. This your energy is out. We ain't talking about your person. This is your energy. You're leading energy, Leo. And you know you stuck in this cycle. And you still sitting here like, blah, 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 what to do? Because you don't want to be alone. Let's keep moving. Let's clarify the will of fortune. Hey, this is divine time, and That shit going to come to an end eventually. Whether you do something about it or not. Two of cups. Soulmate energy. So this is somebody that you've been with for a while. This is some. This is a soulmate connection that got you stuck and tied. You got the devil with the two of cups. Okay. This. So this. Yeah. 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 This is a soul contract here. This is why it's so hard to leave this person alone because you got a soul contract that is coming to an end. And this devil energy is trying its best. You have the storm warning and the devil right here. It's trying its best to keep you in the, under contract. But the most high God said, it's time to sever that shit. It's time to sever ties and move forward. This is going to happen to you. Or for you, I should say. Excuse me. This is going to happen for you while you sitting here in indecision. Like, do, 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 what to do. Storm warning, indecision. Do, 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 what to do. Because you got a hole. You got a, you got a, you got a, um... A uh, uh, low vibing hole. It's like a, a a low a low energy vibration. It's like keeping you stuck. So I don't know if this person is feeding you false illusions of how things are. They're lying to you. They're deceiving you. Something of the sort. Look, they striking fear in you because you they you don't want to be alone. So therefore, you're gonna indulge in their bullshit. This low vibing energy because you don't want to be alone. It's like you accepting this shit. Knowing you have all kind of red flags going off around you and in you to sever it and move forward. Let me tell you what you're not going to do for yourself. The most high God is, most high God is going to do for you. This will not keep going. Look, the fool energy at the bottom of the deck. You damn right. You damn right. You damn right. Putting down them burdens. Uh-huh. Ten of swords up under the, the full energy. Shit. Enough is enough. And you know it. So what you going to do about it? Five of swords. Let's clarify five of swords, Holy Spirit. 
This one? Thank you. Look, here go the Empress. <laughs> Look it. Let me tell you, you're going to come out a bigger, better bitch. And I had to say that because it's like the energy that's coming off of this card is like, bow, honey, boom. This is all authority over yourself and over your circumstances here, baby. I like to see that sitting on top of that five of swords right there, Taurus, Libra energy. So it could happen in those seasons or you could have those signs heavily in your chart. You damn right. The Empress had to come out on that ass. Uh-huh. This is you elevating yourself because you were stuck in indecision about some old bullshit you tied to. Ain't just about nothing. Go ahead with yourself, Empress. And you went inside yourself to find yourself harming energy. There's a lot of earth energy here, grounding energy here. Because you too up in your head about an indecision. You had to woosa. This that's that tower energy. Look, God is gonna do for you what you can't do for yourself, and you're gonna come out a bigger, better bitch. This is why I kept saying Divine Feminine. I was keep trying to say Leo in the beginning of the reading, but I kept say, calling you guys Divine Feminine. And here she go popping out. This is the reason why that energy is thick, baby. You finally going to get it. It was a long time coming. Because you ignored the red flags. To the point that the Most High God said, shit, she ain't going to do it. I'm going to do it for her. Let's clarify the six of swords. Okay, thank you. Three of cups. <laughs> this is um, celebration, joy, um, a, a celebratory energy. Thank you. This is the celebratory energy. Yeah, you're going to feel good after you come through this storm. After you make this, this, this decision that you are faced with that you are dreading. Okay, you are dreading it. You could be overthinking it. But once you make that decision and come on the other side of that decision, boom, yeah. You have the Six of Swords clarified by the Three of Cups. You damn right. Happiness is here again because you did it. And then you're going to finally realize that you should have been done it after you do it. Ain't that about nothing? Let's clarify this Four of Swords, honey. <laughs> it's like you're so resistant to change that once that change happened, it's like, oh, damn, I should have been done this. Okay? that's Because you didn't want to be alone. Ain't that about nothing? Let's clarify the Four of Swords. Let's clarify the four source, please, Holy Spirit. Okay, one more. Thank you, my love. I appreciate it. And then we have the sun. Leo, there you go. <laughs> there you go, baby. Look at that healing. Let me tell you. This was a long time coming with your resistant ass. I always want to have shit your way. And most high God had to come and say, I think the fuck not. <laughs> You've been going at this for too long. Let me do this for you. And then you like, oh, after it's done for you, you come on the other side of that tower energy. It's like, I should have been done this. Ain't that about nothing? Go ahead with yourself. And then we had the temperance Sagittarius energy at the bottom of the deck. I told you at the beginning of the reading, I felt Sagittarius energy. And this is capping off the reading. You damn right. It could happen in Sagittarius season two. But I'm just saying, Leo, go ahead with yourself. And the King of Swords, you damn right. This was a long time coming. And you're working in cahoots with the Most High. After he kicked it off, you finished it. <laughs> okay, he kicked off that tower. You wrapped that shit up and rebuilt from that tower. That's beautiful. I love it. Now, I'm going to leave it right here, Leo, because damn. <laughs> this is that self-reflection that you're going through. You see what I'm saying? You have to reflect on the things that you were doing to you and for you. <laughs> <laughs> the bad and the good. You see what I'm saying? I hope I got that out right. All right. So if any of these messages in this reading resonate and it help you along your journey and ascension, please drop a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.